दिस इज़ वेर इट ऑल हैपेंड अ रिमोट विलेज इन बिलासपुर डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑफ छत्तीसगढ़ स्टेट अ प्लेस वेर पीपल लिवस सिंपल लाइव फार अवे फ्रॉम द हसल एंड बसल ऑफ सिटी अ प्लेस वेर पीपल रिलाई ऑन ट्रेडिशनल हीलर्स एंड क्वैक्स फॉर देर हेल्थ प्रॉब्लम्स रादर दैन क्वालिफाइड डॉक्टर्स एंड मॉडर्न मेडिसिन This is where he was found lying dead. His name was Mr. Rajesh Sahu. He was 29 years old and he was happily married. He worked as a farmer in a village near Bilaspur city. He was on his way to the city for buying some fertilizers when he met his fate. Santosh Patel with his cousin Vijay Nayak saw Rajesh's body while they were traveling on that road. After determining that Rajesh is not breathing, Santosh Patel and Vijay Nayak decided to dial 108 and call the ambulance. The doctors examined Rajesh and declared him dead. The police was called. The police investigated and identified the body. The police informed Rajesh's wife. Sushila was shocked. and came into deep grief she asked for post mortem report as i was assigned to the crime scene i meticulously collected various samples crucial to the investigation i collected skid marks broken glass paint chips debris and blood stains these samples will help to determine the vehicle speed identify the parts reconstruct the accident and provide evidence for the investigation something doesn't add up here The circumstances surrounding this man's death seem peculiar and can't simply be dismissed as a road traffic accident. This case definitely needs further investigations. So we have received the case of RDA for post mortem examination to know the cause of death and time since death. So while performing autopsy, we did not find any fatal injury that could lead to cause of death. So we have preserved Visra for chemical analysis along with urine and blood sample and CSF sample. After collecting the Visra sample, we have sent the sample to FSL for uh, qualitative and quantitative analysis. So the first finding was lacerated wound, four into three centimeter bone deep on frontal bone, left side above eyebrow. Injuries were one into one centimeter abrasion with reddish uh, scab on uh, left elbow. and um one into 3 cm abrasion with red scab present on uh, left shoulder other finding was 3 into 2 cm abrasion with red scab on lateral malleolus of left leg there were multiple small abrasions on anterior aspect of forearm of left hand sign of asphyxia was present on the body uh, like bilateral upper and lower limb nails were cyanosed lips were cyanosed face is congested on internal examination we have observed that brain and skull was intact there was no internal hemorrhage all the organs were intact and highly congested this is the story of a man who died of drug overdose but not the kind of drug that you might expect not heroin not cocaine not meth no This man died of a drug that is widely available and commonly used in India. A drug that is found in cough syrups. A drug that can kill you if you take too much of it, especially with alcohol. Sushila recounted the events leading up to her husband's tragic death. मेरे पति को अस्थमा था माई हजबेंड हैड अस्थमा एंड ही यूज टू विजिट बिलासपुर सिटी फॉर ट्रीटमेंट He seemed to be doing better but he developed a cough recently I suggested him to visit a nearby quack for a quick remedy they prescribed him cough syrup and instructed him to take twice a day I didn't know he was drunk and I gave him bottle of cough syrup to take his dose for his cough and cold unaware of his alcohol consumption We conduct a postmortem in Johnson along with board of the doctors and uh, Do we taking sample from the different part of the body, like lung, liver, spleen, kidneys, and also taking various fluid like blood, urine, CSA, to the chemical analysis, and also the qualitative and quantitative analysis, and all these we saw 
that is sent for the FSA examinations. We find report of the chemical analysis and qualitative and quantitative analysis report from the FSA. Uh, the report showing that uh, this is the basically the consumption of the disease consumption of the alcohol and diphenhydramines. Uh, in that cases, alcohol that increased efficacy of diphenhydramine. So we opine that this is the basically a case of the drug overdose. The recommended dose of diphenhydramine for adults is 25 to 50 mg every 4 to 6 hours, not to exceed 300 mg per day. The toxic dose of diphenhydramine for adults is estimated to be 7.5 mg per kg. The lethal dose of diphenhydramine for adults is unknown, but it has been reported that dose as high as 2.8 grams have been fatal. Some of the symptoms of diphenhydramine overdose are drowsiness, confusion, hallucination, agitation, seizures, coma, dry mouth, flushed skin, dilated pupil, blurred vision, urinary retention, tachycardia, hypertension, and cardiac arrhythmias. For an asthmatic patient, an overdose of diphenhydramine can be especially dangerous as it can cause bronchospasm and respiratory depression. This can lead to hypoxia, acidosis, and death. Therefore, asthmatic patients should be cautious when using diphenhydramine and avoid taking more than the recommended dose. As we see in this particular case, the case was presented at RTA, but the final conclusion was asphyxial death. As the case was presented as road traffic accident, but the final conclusion was asphyxial death as a result of overdose of diphenhydramine and alcohol. As we see, alcohol and diphenhydramine both causes dizziness and delirium. That's why, with the combination of both the drugs, they causes the respiratory depression. When the bi bikers ride their bike in the effect of uh, diphenhydramine and alcohol they causes dizziness uh, after this dizziness the bike rider fall down and the case was appeared as road traffic accident but the boat truck causes respiratory depression and at the end the death was due to respiratory depression the investigation into Rakesh's death revealed a troubling truth. The quack who prescribed him the diphenhydramine syrup did not inquire about his medical history or provided any warnings regarding the potential risks. He simply gave him the syrup without considering the consequences. This negligence by the quack led to Rakesh's death. I lost my husband due to negligence of an unqualified person. I urge everyone to be cautious and always seek proper medical care. IPC 304A which defines rash and negligence act in which if there is any negligence from the side of any quack they will punish as per law. In India, the practice of medicine is regulated by the Medical Council of India and the Indian Medical Council Act. It is illegal for anyone without proper medical qualifications and registrations to practice medicine or prescribe medications. Those found guilty of unauthorized medical practice can face criminal charges under Section 15 of the Indian Medical Council Act. This can lead to imprisonment for up to one year and fines. Additionally, Section 304A of the Indian Penal Code can be invoked for causing death by negligence, carrying a more severe punishment. The tragic case of Rakesh Sahu's diphenhydramine overdose serves as a wake-up call for the community. It sheds light on the dangers of quackery and urgent need 
for strict enforcement of laws governing medical practices in India. The swift action taken by the police and awareness raised through this documentary emphasizes importance of prioritizing health. This case highlights the danger of unlicensed medical practice and the importance of seeking medical advice from qualified professionals. The police swiftly apprehended the quack responsible for their illegal and negligent actions. The case was not only about seeking justice for Rakesh's death, but also about raising awareness and preventing such tragedies from happening in the future. Let this be a lesson for all of us to value our well-being and to be vigilant in seeking proper medical care. Together, we can ensure that no more lives are lost to unqualified and unprofessional negligent practices.